Good day and God bless. Welcome to our time of devotion and prayer. Let us pray. Lord, help us in our need for better spiritual health. Being able to wait and take moments like this to pause and receive your Holy Spirit before taking the next step. Lord, we can, can get very excited. Maybe it's something we heard the, the preacher say. Maybe it's something we remembered from a hymn. Lord, maybe it's a prayer that we heard or shared and we step away from it and we want to engage. But Lord, let us always be mindful. Help us to be mindful of what your spirit is saying, of how you are calling, that for all our good ideas and all our best good intentions, Lord, we must in everything we do seek to honor and praise and glorify you and not ourselves. Lord, when people celebrate us for doing good things, for being good people, it makes us feel good. So Lord, help us to be those good people and not just those with seeming good intentions, but with hearts filled with selfish desire. Lord, make it about you being right and not just us. Too often, Lord, we think we're right and we're stepping away from you. So Lord, help us to be careful when the whole world seems to tell us that we're on the right track and we're acting in opposition to you. Lord, teach the church not to become worldly, but to in the context of the world in which we serve, from which we praise, that we will draw closer to the truth of heaven, that we will make our fellowship about a relationship with you and not about our personal standing and rank. Lord, we end up being another kind of rank when that happens. And Lord, we pray for the work that the church is seeking to do in the world, that it be not to culture another people, but in serving others to be a better sign of your love to ourselves and to those we serve, but especially before you. Lord, let us honor our families in the way we conduct ourselves. And Lord, help our faith to grow. Lord, bless us now as we come to your word, that we will be not only blessed by it, but go forth as a blessing from it. In this we pray, in Christ Jesus' name, amen. Today we turn to the book of Proverbs, Proverbs reading in chapter 28 at verse 25. He that is of a proud heart stirreth up strife, but he that putteth his trust in the Lord shall be made fat. I don't think it's referring to that. <laughs> this isn't the King James Version giving us some bad weight loss advice. But we will be made full. We'll be made satisfied. We'll be made refreshed and complete and full of everything that we need to feel fully alive. But when we are proud in ourselves and proud of our own achievements and satisfied by our own ability, we make no room for the gifts of God. We, we block, we push away the gifts of God in the same way that when we boast of ourselves, we push away friendships. So the writer of the Proverbs is advising, is teaching that a humble heart is ready to receive the Lord. And we are told time and again that what the Lord desires is a humbled and contrite heart. And so we follow the example of Christ who humbled himself and his disciples who sought to humble themselves and the roles and the leadership they gave the church and the way that they shared the good news of Christ and of his kingdom and offered healing and hope. So we put our trust in the Lord that we will be satisfied, that we'll be whole, even that will be fat. God bless and keep you. Amen.